This question that we have is a simple application of the Newton's laws of cooling. Whenever you see uh, changes in temperature related to time, think about Newton's law of cooling. So, the Newton's law of cooling states dt upon dt is equal to minus k into t minus t of surrounding. Let this be t naught. So, we know this as the Newton's law of cooling. Now, we have been given that a body's temperature falls from 40 degree Celsius to 35 degree Celsius in 10 minutes. We need to find out how much more time is taken for it to fall from 35 to 30 degree Celsius. So, we need to find out the time for this change given the time for 40 degree Celsius to 35 degree Celsius change. Now, for solving this question, we can take this to be equal to the average rate of decrease of temperature that is 40 minus that is final minus initial change is always final minus initial. So, 35 minus 40 upon the time taken that is equal to 10 minutes this is equal to k into a into t minus t naught that is now since the temperature is not constant throughout therefore, we take t average is equal to t therefore, the t is equal to t average is equal to initial plus final by 2 that is 40 plus 35 by 2 that is equal to 37.5. Now, this is just a way to solve the question. There is another way which I will tell you later, but this gives you the approximate uh, answer to a great extent. Therefore, since this temperature of the substance was not constant, we took this to be the average value minus the temperature of the surrounding which is given to be equal to 20 degree Celsius. From this, we get there's a, there was a minus sign here also. Therefore, we get 1 upon 2 is equal to k a into 17.5 that is equal to k a is equal to 1 upon 35 minute inverse. Now, let us see this change. For this change, we know d t upon d t that is the average rate of decrease of temperature. This can be taken to be equal to 30 minus 35 upon the total time taken which we need to find out that is t. This is equal to minus of k minus of we know the value of k to be equal to 1 upon 35 minute inverse. So, we put in 1 upon 35 over here into t minus t naught. Since the temperature of the substance is not constant, we again take this to be the average value between this and this. So, that we can assume the uh, object to be at an average temperature of 32.5 degree Celsius. Therefore, we write this as 32.5 minus 20. So, on solving this, we get the value of t equal to 14 minutes. So, we get the answer for the time taken for the uh, uh, temperature of the object to fall from 35 degree Celsius to 30 degree Celsius that comes out to be 14 minutes. Now, there is another way to solve this question. If you want do not want to make this approximation by taking averages, you can use this method this d t upon d t is written to be equal to minus of k into t minus t naught. Now, let us bring t minus t naught to the left side. This gives us minus k into d t. Let us integrate this and this, this from initial time 0 to t and this from t initial to t final. Now, this becomes ln of t minus t naught that is t final minus t naught upon t initial minus t naught. This is equal to minus k a into t. Now, this is equal to delta t final that is the final temperature difference between the object and the surrounding. This is equal to delta t initial that is the initial temperature difference between the object and the surrounding. Always remember this delta T f we have defined it to be equal to the temperature difference initial temperature difference between the object and the surrounding. Now, we can write delta T f upon delta T i is equal to e ratio of minus k a into t. A is the surface area of the object therefore, delta T final is equal to delta T initial into e raise power minus k a into t. So, we get this equation. 
let us use this equation now to solve the question we have delta t final is equal to delta t initial into e raised to minus k into t let us apply this equation for the first case for the first case the final temperature difference uh, between the object and the surrounding was 35 minus 20 because the final temperature was 35 is equal to initial temperature difference that was equal to 40 minus 20 into e raised to the power minus k a into time was 10 minutes from this we get 15 upon 20 is equal to e raised to the power minus k a into 10 taking logarithm on both the sides we get ln of 3 by 4 is equal to minus k a into 10 therefore we get the value of k a is equal to ln of 4 by 3 upon 10 we remember this now and solve for the second case for the second case again we use the same formula delta t f is equal to delta t initial into e raise from minus k a into t now finally the temperature is 30 degree celsius so the final temperature difference is 10 is equal to initial temperature difference that was equal to 15 into e raise to the power minus k a into t from this we get ln of 3 by 2 is equal to k a into t which we need to find out we know the value of k a already if we substitute it here to be equal to ln of 3 by 2 is equal to ln of 4 by 3 upon 10 into t therefore t is equal to 10 into ln of 3 by 2 upon ln of 4 by 3 minutes on solving this we get the value of t to be equal to 14.096 minutes so we see that the final answer that we get in the two cases is not is not very much different in the uh, from the previous method we got the answer as 14 minutes and from this method we get the answer as 14.096 uh, minutes so both the methods are correct you may use whichever one you like to be easy so our final answer for this question comes out to be 14.096 minutes